Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so I just thought I'd bring you back because um, I do get questions, friends and family and different people ask me about um, how I finish my diamond paintings, that kind of thing. So I thought some of you might be interested as well. I know there's lots of videos out there of people who probably do it much better than I do, but this is just my way. So I finished the parrot, as you can see. Now, um, I have, I finished them and I've checked them over, there's no loose bits or anything, but what I'm going to do before I spray seal him, I like to spray seal my diamond paintings because um, I've tried a few sort of uh, sealers where I've um, used applicators like glue and things like that, and I haven't really ever been very impressed with the results. So I, um, many of you who watch my other channel, Kubelicious Crafts, will know that um, I do a lot of my uh, resin pieces with this and I've tried it on my diamond paintings and I I really like the results so yeah I'll um it does take a little bit of the shine away but not loads just a little bit um but it's by far the best I've tried other spray sealers that have made it totally mad I've tried um glues that have one of the mod podges that was supposed to be gloss um and it was just gloopy and it peeled and I didn't like that so this one I've had good results with so I'm sticking with it if I may try um, others that have been recommended to me and I might find another one and if I do find one that I like better then I'll let you know but first off once the diamond painting is finished um, I use this is um, just a silicone heavy duty rolling pin and so I roll from top to bottom all the way along and back again and you'll hear crunching if you've got any diamonds I tend to hear more crunching on my square diamond drills than I do on my round because the rounds I tend to feel that they've got more space um, so I'll do this a couple of times then when I'm spraying I will do long even spray not too close but long even sprays across and then I will come back and go this way then I will let it dry uh, for a good hour then I will recoat then I'll bring you back and you can have a look at the results see you in a bit hey okay so I've done I've done my two medium coats and as you can see we still have a shine the canvas is still flexible which is one of the things I love about using the spray um, varnishes is that the canvas is still flexible when I did um, when I have used the sort of pasting glues type thing um, then the canvas doesn't flex anymore um, now if you're putting that straight uh, on the wall in a frame then that doesn't really matter but if you like me do smaller diamond paintings that you don't always put on the wall um, then having them sort of more rigid um, can sort of limit your storage options um, uh, you know so it, it's just preference it's all about preference but she's all um, sealed now and she's lovely and flexible she's still you can see she's still nice and shiny um, okay it, it takes off a little bit of the but to be fair once you look at it, it's it's very very um small the difference is quite small and as i've tried some mod podge and things in the past now perhaps i haven't tried the right one that other people are going to tell me they use and if you have suggestions about products um to use great brilliant i love um information and you know i'll always try new things things like that so thank you ever so much for watching. It's just my, this is the way that I do things, the way that, you know, my process works. Um, but I'm always willing to learn new things. So take care. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for taking time. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Very much appreciated. And I will see you again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.